So we're here in Marceline, Missouri. This is the Walt Disney Hometown Museum and can't wait to check it out. We've got a private tour scheduled, and so I'm going to get to show you what's waiting for you if you get to come. So this is right outside. You can see the admission cost here right now. It's $10 each. A uh, little bit more for the private tour, 25 I believe, per person for the private tour. But it includes a pin, it includes a discount on the gift shop, and of course you get the place to yourself for two hours. Now if you're coming right now, don't forget your face mask. <laughs> it is going to be required to come in. But once this pandemic's over, hopefully we can ditch these things. As you walk in the door, you'll be greeted at the desk with the big letters and the check-in. Check-in was quick and easy. This is our tour guide here, Peter, who was absolutely amazing. It, he was just absolutely adorable with everything that he knew. Uh, but lots of facts and everything. A little quick look at the gift shop and some of the signs here. But we didn't spend a whole lot of time in the gift shop because our tour was starting right off. The very first room we actually went in this restored train depot is actually the old ticket counter. This is the original ticket office that was here. They've got the windows that were there. The clock even that the conductors would set their timepieces on is in this room. There's just an amazing amount of history. That brown box there with the screen, these are actually storytelling monitors. They weren't running it for us while we were there because on the private tour, he's telling us the stories. But if you go during the regular tour, those will all be open and, oh yeah, this desk. Uh, let me come back to that in just a second. And yes, the trains still run right by it multiple times a day. We only actually get two passenger cars every day. Yes, it is the Southwest Chief that will run by a couple times a day. Here's another look at the original ticket office, though, where people would buy their train tickets and then wait to hop on the train. The viewing station. And it's just a, an amazing job they've done restoring this part of the train depot. One of the things that's really neat in here were a couple flags that Walt and Roy donated from the original Disneyland. Yes, these are real original Disneyland flags that they were flying for a while and then say, oh, maybe we need to preserve these instead. Oh, and this desk? This desk actually came from the schoolhouse that Walt attended as a little boy. And you can see the bell down there in the bottom and a couple things, but there's something very unique about this desk. You see, this is Walt's desk. How do we know that this is actually Walt's desk? Well, he left a little reminder that he was actually here. Yes, as a little boy, he carved his initials into the desk. And they're kind of hard to miss. Just a, a really neat little thing and kind of a reminder that Walt was a pretty typical little boy. <laughs> this is actually really cool. This is a car from the Midget Autopia. What I didn't know was that when they closed the Midget Autopia and removed it, they actually moved it to Marceline. Walt and Roy had donated it to the town and they ran it here for several years. This is actually one of the original cars. While the ride doesn't run anymore, they do have the car here. The other cars can actually be found still operating at a park in Pennsylvania. And then of course we've got this giant Mickey. This is just really cool along with a whole bunch of Mickey comic books. But this Mickey is actually the entrance to an amazing exhibit. Yeah, this exhibit is amazing. It just has some absolutely amazing pieces of history in here. How to come check this out? We got the 50th anniversary crest and sword, and even pieces of his Carol Wood Railway. Other halls include this one talking about uh, Walt and his family, his brothers, his sisters. Uh, people that we often don't hear about. In fact, many of the pieces in this whole exhibit here, in fact, throughout the museum, were actually donated by his sister. So when you look at the letters and a number of other things, they're actually things that she had kept 
the Walton Center. In fact, even the TV is one that they originally watched the opening of Disneyland on. And then there's this huge mural. This is really cool. There's actually three hidden Mickeys in it. See if you can find them. But this is on the stairway that goes from the first floor up to the second floor. So you have plenty of time to look through and spend some time checking it out. It, it's really a neat painting. And it leads you up to this amazing hall on the second floor. Uh, all these models of Disneyland, of Main Street, of the rides. It fills up probably half the floor and oh my goodness, is it amazing. There's a number of other mementos here. There's a recreation of his front porch, but I couldn't get enough of these models. And if you come up to check this out, you need to get the story behind them because the man who did these, these are all hand done originals and they've just got a fantastic, amazing story behind them. So be sure when you get to come to check that out. I don't want to totally steal the thunder, but you know, thunder, hey, big thunder. We got a little look at Adventureland here. And, and yes, really the productions of the park are incredible. Main Street, Adventureland, there's one of the Matterhorn here, Small World, and just so much more. There's a little glimpse of the hall for you. And in that same hall again, here's the recreation of the front porch. The tar picture on the side has a neat story about it with Walt and his sister, uh, which you can again find out here. I don't want to steal the thunder, give you a reason to come. They've also got a recreation of the schoolhouse that Walt was in. You saw the original desk earlier. These are actually a couple more desks from that schoolroom, and it gives kids a nice little place to check out some things. And this is cool. One of the prizes, one of the original animators' tables from the original Walt Disney Studio. So cool. So cool. And there's other exhibits around, too. This is one that's right by the elevator, which talks about Club 55, the original workers at Disneyland who helped open it up. So some neat stories there. And here's another look at Walt's family, his sister. This is actually the room we were in earlier, but a little better look at the letters that are there, and the writings and the collection. You can tell Walt loved his family. And just some really neat stories to help you get to know Walt a little bit better. And his love for Marceline. I will say the town's done a wonderful job of remembering and capturing uh, Walt Disney's life here. They really have. This museum is just fantastic. And then, of course, the end of it here. Uh, you've got a brief bit about the parents. Um, some great stories about their parents. Uh, you know, Walt's dad was a little bit harsh, but uh, there was still a lot of love there as well. And then lastly, back to the gift shop. Lots of things here in the gift shop as well. T-shirts, toys, books. And then of course, lots more as well. More books. <laughs> and then there's all sorts of other little things. All I know is looking around here, my credit card's going to be hurting. <laughs> yeah, so here's a look at the haul. Not a whole lot. Uh, the books were about $20, $25 each, which was a little outside my range, even though I really wanted several of them. And same thing with the shirts. I am on a budget after all, trying to save for Japan. But I wanted to give you a little closer look here. There are the couple magnets that I brought home. And of course, you gotta have the pins. Yes, because pins are my life. <laughs> okay, not all of it, but uh, these are actually the official pins we got for taking the tour. And you notice it's even got the date of the tour on it, which is really cool. And then picked up the other pins they have there. I've got the Smash Penny there for my son to try to give you a good look at it. And we even got our tickets for the tour. And of course, the keychain for my daughter. And see if we can get you a look at the engraving. There were a couple other things I also brought home from the museum. The Mexican restaurant there in town actually offers these free souvenir cards. 
So if you take in your uh, ticket from the museum, you can get those with your meal. And then brought in a couple of little flyers as well. This one's got a nice little map of the museum on it, as well as on the other side, there are your costs right there, along with current hours. And then, of course, the other um, flyer here is just your normal little brochure that you'd find around town for it. So that's my small little haul, but very pleased with it and had a great visit to the museum. So there's a look at the Walt Disney Hometown Museum. Hope you enjoyed that. It's of course up here in Marceline, Missouri. Information's on the website on uh, entrance costs, private tour costs. Do the private tour. It's going to be worth it for a few extra bucks to get the whole place for yourself. So hope you enjoyed this look. Check it out when you're up here. So we're in here. Here you Yeah, that's a great start. <laughs> All right. Hey, you want to check out the Walt Disney Hometown Museum? We got a chance to do it on a private tour. Want to go? Wait, want to go? That sounds cheesy, don't it? Well, yeah, especially. I'll so. probably just cut it at that point. So. <laughs>